Hello guys and uh, welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the axolotls um, and the axolotl eggs. So um, if you're an axolotl fan and you keep these alien fish then stay tuned in and this video might be for you. So um, I'm just going to be telling you a little bit about how to care for your axolotl eggs and um, how to get the best out of your axolotls and um, axolotl eggs so they survive and become an healthy axolotl. So um, as you can see these axolotl eggs in front of the camera are a few week old um, so they don't look like this when they first hatch they tend to be a little black dot um, um, but when they get to this stage they will start wriggling and moving about so um, that's a good sign you know your eggs are doing perfectly fine and this is normal um, the best I, best thing I do and what I can recommend if you want to keep your axolotl eggs safe is take them out and put them into a separate tank so um, put them into a separate tank and um, you want to be using water out of your aquarium what's already in your axolotl little tank in another tank so it's got your bacteria in it and the goodness of your water to keep these eggs hatching um, after a few weeks they will tend to um, get bigger and bigger um, and start moving about more and the uh, they will eventually break free out of the little sack that they're in, the little um, clear sack you can see, if you can see it on the camera. And um, eventually they will turn like that one there, if you can see it on the camera, let me just point to it. That one there, that is one what's hatched and is getting ready to be took out of the tank. So um, as you can see there's that many eggs. Um, they just will hatch eventually. If you leave them, and you don't want them to hatch. Just leave them, and they will get eaten by your breeding pair. But that's not what you really want to be doing because it's nice to have these axolotl eggs hatching. It's an achievement to be proud of. Not everybody gets to see axolotl eggs hatching. So um, I hope this helps you. Um, when your axolotl axolotls do hatch and they become wigglers, you want to be feeding them frozen daphnia. Daphina cubes, um, so um, that will make them stronger and grow faster. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe and keep a look out for more videos. I am experienced in breeding axolotls, so any questions, please feel free. Like I've said, this is my third batch of eggs from my breeding pair. Toes and tails. The other one will be hiding behind the plant somewhere. So um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will subscribe back. Thank you.